Stay safe. Stay active. And stay healthy. <laughs>
and then arms up to the sky. That's the hardest one, I think, to stay really still. And off you go again, jogging. So you get our heart beating faster with section classes. What different directions can you jog? Can you go backwards, forwards, sideways? Can you go in a zigzag? And foot. Oh, it's hard to balance when you've been moving. That's really tricky. And this time we're going to hop around the space. So just one leg touching the floor, up and down. And knees. Have you got those arms right? Good job. And if you go again, you can choose this time. How are you going to move around the room? I'm going to choose to jump. Two feet to two feet. You might want to copy me or choose your own way of moving around the room. And seat. Good job, guys. How are those arms? And excellent. Okay, so hopefully you've remembered those three different still shapes that we did. And we understand the importance of keeping our body really still and keeping our still shapes neat and tidy. Like people tell us to keep our bedrooms neat and tidy. We don't want to have arms and legs where they shouldn't be and arms and legs not very straight when they should be really straight. So we need to make sure that our still shapes are neat and tidy too. Right, what we're going to do today is we are going to think about making big shapes with our body, still keeping them still and controlled, and making tiny, small shapes with our body, keeping them neat and controlled. So I wonder if now you could think of a really big shape you can get your body into. And can you show it for me now? It might be on your feet, standing up, a big shape. Hmm. It might be lying down. Maybe on your tummies or maybe on your backs, making your body really big and wide. Might be on your knees, like one of the balances we did earlier. Mm, maybe you could be really creative and think about a big shape on the side of your body. So show us, what does it look like? Oh, some really interesting big shapes. Right, I'm going to choose one this time. I'm going to go onto my back and put my arms and legs out to the side to make my body really big but I'm going to have my arms and legs off of the floor to make it a bit tricky for me. So this is my big shape, arms and legs out to the side, making my body really wide. And I can do that on the other way up as well, on my tummies. Again, getting my arms and legs really, really wide. Now I'm going to try one on the side of my body, getting my body really big and wide. I wonder if you chose any of the same ones as me. So this time, we're going to be moving around the space a bit like we did in the warm-up. And when I say the key word big, I want you to show me a big shape that you can do. And you can do that on any part of your body you like. Your tummies, your backs, your feet, your knees, your bottoms. You get to choose, okay? But can you keep it still and can you keep it neat and tidy? If you want to, you can copy my big shapes or you can choose your own. Okay, guys, we're going to start with that marching that we did in our warm-up. So let's march around the space like a soldier. And remember that key word you're listening for, big. Oh, I'm going for a standing up one, making my body as wide as I can. I'm trying to stretch my fingers as far away from each other and my toes as far away from each other. But I've not got so wide that I'm not in control. I'm still keeping my body really still and neat and tidy. Are you copying me or have you got your own big shape? Good job, guys. Let's carry on with that march. Good job. Are you going to choose the same big shape or are you going to choose a different big shape this time? I'm definitely going to challenge myself and choose a different big shape this time. And I'm going to choose it on my knees this time. So I'm going to get my knees wide and my arms wide and try and stay really still and controlled. You might choose the same big balance as me or a different one. Good control, guys. Well done. And let's go again. Marching. Again, are you going to choose the same big shape or are you going to choose a different one? I'm again going to choose a different one to challenge myself. So I like challenging myself in PE. And big. So this time I'm going to come down onto my tummy and make my body really big and wide like a skydiver, like a superman out of a plane. And freeze there. Good job, guys. I like making my body into big, wide shapes. Hopefully you do too. Right, what's the opposite of big? 
Yeah, you guessed it. We're going to make our body into tiny, small shapes this time. So show me your best small shape reception class. Can you tuck all your arms and legs in? Can you tuck your head in to make your body as tiny and as small as an ant? I wonder what body part you're doing your still shape on. Hmm, maybe it's on your bottom. A really small shape, tucking your body in like a small ball. Or maybe it's on the side of your body, making your body really tucked and small. Maybe it's on your back. Maybe it's on your knees. How are you going to do your small shape? Can you find more than one small shape that you can do with good control? Remember to keep it neat and tidy. Don't want any elbows sticking out or any feet sticking out. Tuck them all in. Good job, guys. So hopefully you've got some ideas now of some small shapes you can do with control of your body. This time, we're going to move around the room. And if I say the keyword small, you're going to show me your best quality small shapes. But this time, I'm going to say you have to hold your still shapes for the magic five. Okay. So what that means is you've got a second to get into it. One. And then you're going to count two, three, four. And then come out on the fifth. So one second to get in. Then you're going to hold it. Two, three, four. And then one second to come out of your balance, making the total magic five. Hmm, I wonder if we can do that, guys. So each balance, if we can't hold it for the magic five, maybe we need to choose a different small balance. Are we ready, guys? So I wonder if we could challenge ourselves by jogging around the room rather than marching this time. Are you ready? Let's go. So jogging around the room to get the heart beating a bit faster than before. Start thinking about what small shape you're going to do when I say the word. What part of your body are you going to do it on? Is it going to be the same as mine or different? Are we ready, reception? And small. I'm going to come down onto my body. One, two, three, four, and back out. And off I go again. Remember that magic five. Are you going to do the same small shape when I say the word, or a different one? And small, I'm going to come onto my back. One, two, three, four, and back out, five, and off I go again. Are you going to do the same small shape again, or choose a different one? Are you going to copy me? And small, I'm going to come onto the side of my body. One, two, three, four, five. And off I go again. This time, we're going to do tiptoe walking. Can you stretch your body really tall up to the ceiling, coming up onto your tiptoes? And small. Oh, I'm going to come down my knees this time. Make my body really small. One, two, three, four, five. And out I come. Whew. Wow, you're so good at doing your small shapes as well. I wonder which you prefer. Do you like doing big, wide shapes? Or do you like doing small, tiny shapes the best? As you're small people, maybe you're really good at the small shapes. You're probably a lot better than me at doing small shapes. Okay, so this time we're going to now choose whether we want to do a big shape or a small shape. So we're going to be moving around the room. And when I say still shape, you can choose whether you're going to show me a big shape with your body or a tiny, small shape with your body. And remember that magic five. Okay, so choose balances and still shapes that you know you can do without wobbling too much. Okay, so don't make them too tricky. Are we ready, guys? Let's do our tiptoe walking. So moving around the room, tiptoe walking. Think about what's going to be the first shape you're going to show me. Is it going to be a big shape with your body or is it going to be a tiny, small one? And what part of your body are you going to do the still shape on? And big. I'm going to come down onto my knees and do my big star shape, my big wide shape. Is yours going to be the same or different? Have you chosen a big shape? Have you chosen a small? Remember that five? And then off you go again. This time, let's go to our hop that we did before. So one leg up and down. If that leg gets tired, you can always switch to the other leg. Okay, right, get ready for that, that key word. If you did big last time, maybe you might choose small this time. And still shapes. I'm going to come down on my knees. One, two, three, four, five. And then as I go again, back to my hop. 
and still shake. I'm going to go for beat this time up onto my back, pointing my toes, making it neat and tidy. That lace has come on down again. And off you go again, guys. Maybe you can turn your hop into a step hop, which is the same as a skip step hop, step hop, down, hop. Good job, everybody. And if you can do a skip, so you can get your knees up nice and high and do opposite knee to opposite elbow. And still shape. I'm going to come down onto the side of my body. One, two, three, four, five. Back into my skip. Are you running out of ideas, guys, yet? Yeah, we've still got lots of ideas you can choose. And still shape. On the side of my body this time, nice big wide shape. And off I go again. Wow, okay. Take a rest there, reception class. You guys are doing so well. You've got so many ideas for your still shapes. And you're keeping your body really still and controlled. And I like the fact that they're really neat and tidy balances and still shapes too. So good job. I'm sure you've got loads more ideas. So if you want to pause the video and play this game for a little bit longer, then please do. And maybe you could challenge people in your household to see what still shapes they could come up with as well. Because they might have other ideas too. Or maybe you might actually find you're a lot better at doing some still shapes than some of the other people in your household. We're on to our next activity. For this one, we need something to lay down on the floor that we're working in. So I've said before, maybe a scarf, maybe a skipping rope, maybe a piece of string that you can lay down on the floor. So I've got my scarf there ready in the middle of the area that we're working in. So hopefully you can do the same. For this activity, we're going to link together some jumping skills with our big and small shapes that we met earlier. So let's get familiar with jumping over our obstacle first, because that's a lot of fun. So make sure your, uh, your line or your skipping rope is, is laid down on the floor. And all I'd like you to do is stand sideways on to your piece of material or whatever it is you've got on the floor. Uh, so I'm going to have two feet to the side of my scarf. And all we're going to have a go at doing is jumping over the line. Two feet to two feet. Okay. Try not to land on it and try to not to land one foot either side. So two feet to two feet. Have a little go. See if you can jump over your line and land two feet either side. Side to side. That one's a lot of fun but can be really tiring too. You can challenge people in your household too, see if they can jump side to side over the line and maybe seeing how fast they can do it side to side. Another good one to try is see if you can jump forwards and backwards over the line. So that one looks like this. Start one side and jump over and back, over and back. It's a little bit trickier sometimes because when you're jumping backwards, you can't always see when you're landing. So make sure you're always bending your knees when you land. Soft knees and soft ankles. Have a go, guys. Can you jump this time forwards and backwards over your line as well as side to side? Good job, guys. You're doing a really, really good job. Okay, now we're going to start to join in our big shapes and our small shapes because that's what we're looking at in this lesson. So in a moment, we're going to start one side of the line. I'm going to jump over the line and show you a big shape. And then I'm going to jump back again and show you a small shape on the other side. And when we put that together, we are building up a gymnastic sequence. So I'd like you to have a go at watching my gymnastic sequence really, really carefully, reception classes, to see if you can copy what I do. So I'm going to have two still shapes and jumps in between. So watch really carefully so that you can have a go at copying my sequence to see if it looks the same. Are we ready, guys? So I'm going to start one side of my line and I'm going to jump over. And now I'm going to get into my big shape. And this time my big shape is going to be on my hands and my feet. Remember, keep in really control. I'm then going to get back together and jump over the line to do my small shape which is going to be on my back in a tuck shape. So my knees were up to my chest, having my back on the floor. I'll show you once more, guys. So I start one side of the line, I jump over, 
I create my big shape on two hands and two feet. I then come back together. I jump over the line again. And then I go into my small shape of my back, keeping really still and controlled. I wonder if you can have a go at copying my gymnastic sequence to see if it looks the same. Have a go now, guys. Could you do it? Could you make it the same as mine? I bet you can. Now the challenge is, is can you come up with some of your own gymnastic sequence? You might want to add it onto the end of mine. So once you've done my sequence, see if then you can add another big shape on the end and then maybe even another small shape on the end. So let's have a look at what that might look like. So let's go back to our original sequence over the line. Big shape on our hands and our feet, keeping our body really controlled. Back together again, jump over the line and into our small shape on our backs. Remember not to rush it. Remember that magic five. And then we can jump back over the line again and add our own big shape on. Hmm. I've done one on my hands and my feet, so I don't want to choose that one again. I want to choose a different one. Oh, I'm going to go back to the one I did on my back with my arms and legs off. Awesome. That's challenging because it really works my tummy muscles. And then I'm going to come back over the line. And then I'm going to choose a small shape on the side of my body this time. Okay, so have a go. Can you do my sequence and then add your own sequence on the end? Guys, you did such an awesome job. I really wish I could see these sequences face to face. So maybe you can show them to somebody in your household. And you never know, you might end up with a really, really long gymnastic sequence. Okay, all that's left for us to do now is a cool down because we've worked so hard in this gymnastics lesson, really stretching our muscles, working our heart because our heart's been beating really fast. So now we're going to cool down our body and get us ready for anything else that we've got planned in our day. So in order to do that, we're going to grow from small shapes into big shapes. And then we're going to go from big shapes back down into small shapes. So can you copy me, guys? We're going to begin with a small shape on our feet. Can you get your body really tight and small? This might be one of the shapes that you chose earlier. Okay, now from this small shape, we're going to gradually grow, gradually grow, don't rush. And then we're going to grow out into a big shape. And we're going to try and touch one side of the room with one hand and one foot, and the other side of the room with the other hand and foot. Really stretching our body nice and wide. Good job, guys. And then we're going to slowly bring our arms and our legs back together, back down into our small shape again. Awesome. And then we're going to grow back up into our big shape. And then gradually go down and back into our small shape. Okay, we're going to do one more, but this time with some different big and small shapes. So this time we're going to start on our bottoms in our small shape. This is called a tuck. We're going to tuck our body in, bring our knees up to our chest, and make our body really small. Okay, now from here, we're going to go into a big wide shape on our backs. So stretch your body out nice and wide. Try and bring your fingers as far away from each other and your toes as far away from each other. Really good job, guys. Now gradually, all we can do is slowly, really work your muscle back into your tuck shape on your bottom again. And we're going to try that one last time. So we're really small. And then we're going to explode out wide onto our backs. Hold that shape, make it neat and tidy. And then back into our tuck shape on our bottoms. Ooh, let's take a big deep breath in through our nose. And out through our mouths. And one more of those. Big deep breath in through our nose. And out for our mouths. Hope you've enjoyed our PE lesson today and you're going to be joining in more as the weeks go on. Remember, stay safe, stay active, stay healthy.